Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for you February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why did they do this? So we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. We're going to see what they did to you and why they did it. So apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or thinking of. What did this person do to Aquarius? What did this person do to Aquarius for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Okay, we have the lovers here gemini energy and the ace of swords okay oh what did i do here ten of wands and the seven of cups uh, you know i feel like this person really was not clear about what their feelings and their intentions were towards you and, you know i just feel like you were overwhelmed by this person's you know, illusions, because I feel like this person is like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. I just feel like it never happened. Yeah. I just feel like this person made a lot of false promises here. Yeah, I just feel like this person regrets not doing the right thing. I just feel like this person regrets not doing the right thing. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. I mean, I do feel like there was a strong connection between you and this person, okay? With the lovers here and the higher event. Tell me about the lovers here. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Ace of Swords here, and the in the in the in the double, ha the habits, dependency. I feel like what this person was trying to do was to get you addicted to them. This person showed you a good time. This person you know, provided you with like earth shattering sex. I, I just feel like this person is all talk and no show. Yeah, all bark, no bites. I do feel like maybe this person does, it's, it does seem like this person might be a bit narcissistic, I feel. Yeah, 10 of wands here. I, I, I do feel like this is an individual that is you know, incredibly attractive. They could get anybody that they want. I feel like this person has even told you that too. Three of Swords. One of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like this person loves to party. This person loves to drink. This person loves to do drugs. Uh, with the Three of Swords here, this person could have maybe put you in a third party situation here. Doesn't have to be. It could be that this person has a lot of pain, a lot of trauma here that they've never dealt with or healed from. And I just feel like it's just manifesting in this way. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I do feel like this person was incredibly, I, I, I feel like this person was in a way, you know, even though they were really engaging, okay, um, even though they were, you know, you know, having a good time with you, I just feel like their words never match their actions. Let's say they're, they're like, oh yeah, we're working towards a relationship. It's just never, it, it never happened. Yeah. Five of Cups, you know, that Knight of Wands and that Page of Wands is kind of like a friends with benefits sort of energy. It's a non-committal energy. Five of Cups here and the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Hierophant here and the King of Swords. I feel like they were real. That your your person is realizing that they they weren't fair to you. 
it seems like this person does have some sort of like moral compass. This person is not a complete like lost cause. Even though they're exhibiting some sort of narcissistic tendencies here, it seems like they have some sort of moral compass here. Okay. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Two of Wands. Seems like they, they didn't know what they want. Uh, why did this person do this to Aquarius? Why did this person do this to Aquarius for February 2023? Let me just shut this. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Why did this person do this to Aquarius? Why did this person do this to Aquarius? Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. I feel like it, I feel like it's it was insecurity here. I do feel like what the Queen of Wands here in the Strength card. This person found you extremely attractive. If someone here is definitely learning their lessons facing your karma here, look at that. It seems like this person is definitely, you know, like I said, this person is realizing that they they didn't do the right thing here. So I feel like they're stepping up to the plate. Emperor and the Justice card. Aries energy, Libra energy, Queen of Wands here in the Strength card, Leo energy. Uh, this is so this is so crazy because I feel like I feel like you you know Aquarius. I feel like you did enjoy this, but I feel like this person was like like a bunny rabbit. Yeah, it was like nonstop. Knight of Cups here in the Five of Swords. I do feel like, it, you know, it's because of this person's insecurities here. Knight of Cups in the Five of Swords here. I do feel like this person hurt you in a very bad way here. Yeah, it just seems like they were showing you, telling you certain things that just didn't match up. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords here, and the Eight of Wands. You know, when I see a lot of knights, this is an indication that this person's incredibly flighty. Yeah, incredibly flighty. All over the place. Very in and out. Yeah, um, I feel like the the way that they spoke, the way that they communicated to you, it just gave you a headache. Yeah, it was just all over the place. I feel like also this person talks like a million miles an hour. It just, I, I feel like you couldn't keep up. Queen of Wands here and a Seven of Pentacles. The hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, you know, I feel like you waited around a long time for something to happen or that to, for these promises to materialize. I just feel like it never did. I, I just feel like you started to feel like you were wasting your time. Justice. We have the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and Judgment. Someone in here is facing their karma here. Yeah, look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, Nine of Cups here. They lost their wish fulfillment and that is their karma. So, yeah, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.